Hi, this is Eric Sloof at the VMworld 2016. We're at the Hansel Labs and I'm joined by Kevin Stahl. He is the captain of the vSphere 6.5 laboratory and he's going to be captain tomorrow this is still information that is very new because it's the new vSphere release what can you tell us about the new lab well the new lab uh, is touching all the new features uh, some of the cool features uh, we redid the content library um, we've created a new version of vSphere that lets encrypt VMs and VMDKs onto the disk on a disk by disk basis um, and then we have a new uh, vCenter HA capabilities that are built into the new version Okay, so there are some other enhancements. I believe that the appliance, the virtual center appliance, can also uh, replicate information between multiple instances, or is that the HA function you were referring to? Yeah, that's part of the HA functionality that we can actually have a, a separate copy of vCenter, and the appliance gets replicated, and that's only in the appliance, and we're moving to an appliance first um, version, and this version also is going to have an enhanced uh, HTML5 interface into the clients, so no longer will there be a fat client um, or you know, imp, uh, deployed with this version of vSphere. So we, the, the, the C Sharp client isn't supported anymore. We still have the web client that is running on Flash, but now you're telling us we have a new client, an HTML5 client, which is able to interact with the virtual center appliance. Right, so we're going to have an HTML uh, client for vCenter, which will be a separate server. Then we'll also have an HTML5 interface in each one of the ESX servers, so there will be no need for that fat client anymore. Um, and then any new features will be um, part of the either HTML5 client, um, if you're on the ESX servers, and then also on vCenter. And we've implemented VUM, or uh, VMware Update Manager, it will be implemented in the new version of the vCenter appliance also. Oh, that's cool, so you don't have to uh, use a separate Windows machine anymore for the separate VUM install. VUM is now part of the vCenter appliance. Correct, and the interface to do updates and everything is exactly the same, and it's part of the vCenter interface, web so interface. Regarding the backup of vCenter, are there some enhancements on that part too? Yeah, well, you'll be able to back up vCenter and actually do a restore. So part of the install for vCenter, one of the options will be restore. So you can actually hit restore and go to the backup um, that you had created before. So if you want to do an upgrade or you wanted to do a clean install, um, you'll be able to do that. And it deploys the OVF for, v, for vCenter, and then it goes and implies that or applies the information on there, um, and then it takes over as vCenter. Okay, that sounds very cool. Yeah. Are there some enhancements regarding virtual machines, scalability, NUMA support? Is there a new hardware version in 6.5? Um, there is a new hardware version. Um, the, the, our lab uh, was on beta code, so we still used a version 11, but there's going to be a new hardware version. Um, there's actually going to be some enhancements to data stores. Um, there are going to be some enhancements to uh, SOIC or network control on storage. So just like we have network I.O. control, we're going to have storage I.O. control also that you'll be able to use. Sounds really cool. So I hope you will enjoy this new vSphere 6.5 lab, and I definitely will hope that you go to his site. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.